You ready? I don't know what I'm doing. Do we ever know what we're doing? <laughs> Okay, today we are going to do a cook-off. It is something that we were challenged by Vu. We're going to put his link down below and right here in this little card. I don't know if you can see the card as it comes across. Yeah, right there. We are going to cook some poutine. we got two versions coming up. My version and Braylon's version. Mm -hmm. This was the challenge. Now it's time for a cook-off! The competition has begun. Braylon's version versus dad's version. Here we go. This is the authentic Canadian poutine. I don't know if that's true or not. It's the version we're doing. We'll see how it goes. Hey Joe, you knocked it out of the park in yours. Ingredients. Yes, we like to shop at Walmart. We got some great values. Save money, live better. Thank you, Walmart. Not sponsored. Okay, I'm gonna put it in. <laughs> what? Oh no. For about five minutes until the mixture turns golden. So what do you do? Oh no. <laughs> this is a saucepan. Wow. Wow. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? I was trying bowl. to hold the butter so it didn't fall. I did not have it on high heat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Why is this so hard? We are about to get started. Chandon, you ready to be the champion of the cook-off? All right. First up, we got stuff in the refrigerator we're gonna get. You ready? Let's get some food, Chandon. Got it. Here he comes. He got the food. All right, first up we prep. Boom, beef broth, chicken broth, pre-pulled cheese, mozzarella, most important part for me, the directions. Prepare the gravy in a small bowl, dissolve the cornstarch in the water and set aside. You put a half scoop in, you take a half scoop out, you multiply by two and that was about. You put your cornstarch in and you shake it all around. Next up is gravy. Um, Oh. 
I'm coming over, Shandon. Potatoes. So the point of using these is because we wanted to try what non-fresh haters were like, even though it says they're golden steak fries. I'm bad at directions. I don't follow directions very well, and I don't read directions. Remove potatoes from the water and place onto a sheet of paper towel. Blot to remove as much excess moisture as possible. First, you put oil in it, Chandon. Okay. This is how you do it, son. I want you to watch and learn how to cook. Sometimes you just have to make the oil hot. It's the most important part of cooking in a pot. First up, is the last thing we have to do, and that's to wait for them to turn golden brown. Once they finish turning golden brown, we're gonna take them out and we're gonna put them on a pan. And we're gonna get them on a pan, and then we're gonna get them ready for the sweet, brown, syrupy, flavory gravy. You start thinking about life, the mysteries, the marvels, and you tell yourself, am I doing the right thing? Sometimes you just sit back and wonder, is it really worth it? And you tell yourself, Heck yeah it is! Stop! Ah. You're so funny. This is Brennan's version. So you can see it's got the string cheese on top, the gravy and the potato wedges from the bag. Looks pretty yummy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What do you think? Pretty good flavor? Cool. How many thumbs up did we get? Okay, we got one, two, three, four thumbs up there.
Tell me what you think. Friendly? Are you good? <laughs> I gotta say the girls did a better job. All right, well, we think that it was a success. So far the vote was um, in favor of the string cheese and the frozen potatoes. I think the cheese tastes different. I think now that we added salt to it, it's better. Yeah. It was just all crumbling. Mm. We are continuing this to challenge the Carrion Family Diaries in Australia. I don't know if you'll see this, but I'm challenging you to cook a dish called Arkansas Sin. Mm -hmm.